Oh, uh, hey guys, what's up, uh, Jay Kip here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you look at the date, you'll understand why I'm hiding. Uh, yeah, last year I was able to get out of view in a piece of crap because of technical issues, but this year, I know he's gonna make me review something shitty, so I'm just gonna hide! Come out of there! How'd you know where I was? Dumbass, you're hiding underneath the covers. Where the hell else was I supposed to hide? Whatever. Get out your equipment and get ready. Because it's April Fools and you're the fool. I don't wanna. Come out now. I don't wanna. Get out of the fucking bed because you're re reviewing Garbage Pail Kids. No! 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 God damn it! No! Damn it, do I have to do this? Yeah, now say the backstory. <sighs> Damn it. It's been released August 21st, 1987, and being based off of cards of the same name, and yeah, this is a problem with that. They're based off of cards that had no story attached, so the writers have to create their own backstory. Which, yeah, I'll talk about how that's crap a little later. And yeah, there really is no story for most of the movie. Um, most of it is just the kids doing random, annoying, nasty shit. And yeah, truthfully, this is a movie that you can only understand by watching it. So, let's watch the Garbage Pail Kids movie. But the movie begins in space. And I will admit something, I do like them showing the cast through the cards. But whatever, there's a pail in space. And if you're asking where the Garbage Pail Kids came from, how the fuck am I supposed to know? I doubt the writers even fucking knew. But now the pail is on Earth, uh, somehow. As there's a painting with eyes that is watching them like it's from Scooby-Doo. And I have no idea who's looking for that painting. This is never explained. And I have no idea why they'd even be looking through it in the first place. But whatever, we got a kid named Roger who's running from some bullies. Who are, like, in their 20s. I mean, really. What person over 17 years old steals a poor kid's lunch money? What fucking pussies. Oh, no, no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hell, the laugh was so fake. But to be fair, it's understandable because if you were in this movie, would you try? But anyway, Dodger goes to the junk store where he works. And no, the captain isn't Dodger's uncle or something, or even related. No, they don't even mention his parents at all, which I wouldn't have noticed if, you know, the captain would have been his uncle or something. Then I wouldn't have really cared. Actually, I still don't care, but it's still something I gotta mention. But anyway, Dodger sees Tangerine and, of course, wants to talk to the bitch. And yeah, I have no idea why the kid likes this bitch. I mean... Seriously, she's a bitch. She uses him throughout the movie, and she's a complete fucking bitch. And she's the girlfriend of the dude who's been bullying you, so yeah, I have no idea why he likes her. Ah, I see now. Dodger is a psychopath. That makes sense why he likes her. And, you know, you might have a chance guessing by her choice in men. Of course, to be completely serious, that's really fucked up. Don't do that. But unlucky for him, her boyfriend is there to kick his ass and be very possessive over her. And Tangerine, why did you go out with this dude? I mean, seriously, this dude's an asshole. He's a fucking pussy who goes and fucking steals lunch money for a fucking 12-year-old. But during this shitty fight, the pail falls down, it dripping Ooze. Man, I have no idea where the kids are right now. I mean, seriously, they should be tumbling out. But, you know, maybe it's like Oster's trash can, as it looks small on the outside, but it's really big on the inside. 
And for some reason, they decide, why not go down to the sewers and drown the kid in shit? And yeah, this is disgusting. I mean, seriously, the boys are really stupid. They had to go down there themselves as well, so they definitely got some sewage on their shoes, and also probably got some on their hands, too, so yeah. They're gonna be smelling like shit, too, so nobody wins. But lucky for him, the kids heal him up as he asked what they are. And I'll tell you what they are. They're stereotypes. So anyway, the kids screw around so they can't get the kids back in the pail. Want the tooth of a crocodile, a bottle of English fog, Captain. the hair of a goat, the shadow of your smile. Captain, we can't get that stuff anymore. <laughs> oh, there are ways to get those ingredients. Kind of hard to get in the 80s, but you can get them. So anyway, all the kids have to introduce themselves. I'm Grace and Greg. Want a rumble, kid? <laughs> hey, you don't need to do that to freak the kid out. Your face is already scary enough. You don't need the knife. Tessie! Hi. Don't shake hands with messy Tessie. <laughs> Learned that the hard way. I can still feel the snot on my hands, even after washing it over a hundred times. <laughs> Fooled ya! I'm Wendy Winston! Ah, yes. That joke will be obviously funny every time that it's used. in this lifetime, little person. Yeah, sorry, but no one wants you, kid. I'm not nerd. <laughs> oh, Nat. Hope you enjoy that joke, because it's going to be used a lot. An eyeball a day keeps a doctor away. No, thank you. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, wow. That's really kid-friendly. Having a fucking alligator who recently killed people. Wait a minute. How and when did he get those? But whatever, Dodger needs a bath because yeah, he almost drowned in shit, as the Garbage Pail Kids agree to stay away from the normies. What are normies? Normies? They're normal people. We got to hide from them. They hate us. Yeah, they think we're ugly. Hey, you can just go out in a fedora and trench coat and no one will be able to tell you're ugly. You should be good. Ugliness is not in a mirror. Ugliness is cruelty, meanness of spirit, greed. Yeah, they're all of those things. So they're externally and internally ugly. But uh, anyway, Dodger goes to see Tangerine the next morning. And kid, I'm just going to give you the suggestion now. Just give up on her. I mean, really, she's not worth it. She's a fucking bitch. She doesn't deserve you, okay? She's just that much of a fucking bitch. And if you even try any more... You're gonna have to deal with more bullshit. But Dodger's gonna go with her anyway. Um, so what do we do when we get there? What do you mean? Like, how do you sell the clothes? What the hell? Why is it nighttime now? What, was she just sitting there for 10 hours figuring out what the fuck to say? But anyway, she sells the clothes and oh shit! Dodger sees Tanzarine's bra! Oh my god, that's amazing, you just saw her bra, oh my god. But yeah, to be serious, have you never seen a fucking bra before? It's not something you gotta look away from. But poor Dodger just left there to walk home. And by guessing how long it took them to get there, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a little while before Dodger gets home. But back with the kids, they steal a truck. And that's just kids being kids. There's nothing bad about that at all. Hey, we're the Pepsi generation! <laughs> you know what? I suddenly don't want this. Allie, you ate Yeesh. my burger! Is that yours? Yeah! Oh yeah? Prove it! I can't! You ate the evidence! Yeah, yeah, tough toothpaste! And I'm gonna say this now, you probably already noticed this, but... Yeah, I have a question. I'm... Where the fuck is the story? It's been over 30 minutes! But the next morning, the kids have a hangover. Because Pepsi will really fuck you up. But anyway, the kids make a jacket, which looks like something that even Michael Jackson wouldn't wear because it looks so shitty, but 
Dodger thinks it looks good, so he shows Tangerine. And, yeah, she's not gonna like that thing. You probably shouldn't show it to her. She's gonna think it's an abomination. Wow. Where did you get those clothes? That is some coat. Wait, what? I made it. You made this? Would you like it? It's not bad. Bitch! How fashion blind do you need to be to think that jacket looks good? I'm not even into fashion, and I can tell that that jacket is ugly as shit. But the idiot tells Roger to get some more, so the kids agree they might make some more. Why should we do something nice? Let's quit now, that's my advice. Wait, what? We can't do anything by working with each other. Is this a musical number? Come on, kids, take a shot. Show them what we really got. We Ugh, fucking can I wanna die? Ugh. Okay, you know what? Fuck this! Mm. Damn healing factor. Let's get back into the damn movie. So now, after that shit, the kids are working on the clothes as the kids tell him, yeah, he should just give up on her. Which, yeah, I agree. It'd be way too much work to be with that fucking bitch. But the kids don't want to work, so they're gonna watch TV, but the damn thing doesn't work, so they're gonna go out instead. And like I said earlier, if you wear a trench coat and fedora, no one will be able to tell what you look like. Check it out! Oh, thank you, movie. That joke is hilarious. Gee, I thought it was funny. Yeah, truthfully, it isn't. Sorry, movie. But anyway, they go to a theater to see that Three Stooges, Malice in the Palace is playing. <laughs> and I love the Three Stooges, but yeah, these people are definitely fucking high. I mean, I can completely understand it, because if I was in this movie, I would also want to be high while working on it. But they're gonna go to a bar where there's some bikers, but they're gonna need to fight because of this. Hey, Windy! Hey, Windy! Hey, Alright, my man! Oh, watch out! Oh, oh, yeah, that's the best way to win. Just fart in your opponent's face. It'll make you win every time. But somehow, this gets them the respect of the bikers. Which makes no sense, because he just farted in one guy's face and gave the other ones weak-ass punches. But the kids are scared, but not because the kids might be arrested for murder or assault. No, it's because they think they'll be arrested for being ugly. Which makes absolutely no damn sense, because, yeah, they're just... Arresting fucking ugly people. That's not a crime! And this is fucking really damn stupid! But yeah, it exists. And it's in plain daylight. Which basically would be the same thing as having Area 51, plain ass daylight, and also having the sign say Area 51. Because, yeah, nobody would look, because nobody really cares, I guess. But anyway, Dodger's doing good and getting Tangerine lots of money, so she gives him a little thank you. Yeah, Tangerine, the kid's like 12. If that goes any further, yeah, you're going to jail. But anyway, Tangerine has shown her little sweatshop workers, as she promises she will keep their secret. Okay, fine. If you don't keep your word, I'll kill you. But anyway, for a while, nothing important really happens. Even though this movie currently has two plots. But anyway, something does happen once the kids are put into the state home for the ugly. Which has people that are weird, bald, and Santa Claus. Yeah. If that place was real, I would have been arrested years ago. FBI, open up! Um... Uh, I'll be back. But anyway, Dodger's understandably pissed because, yeah, he was backstabbed. But yeah, 
getting the kids arrested was extremely stupid because, yeah, who's gonna make clothes for you now, you dumb bitch? So anyway, they leave the kid outside so he can go and help his friends. So he goes and he gets the bikers to break him out. And yeah, they were extremely lucky that the kids made friends with them somehow. I still have no idea how the hell they made friends with the bikers. So now the ugly are out, it's time for revenge. So the kids go to the fashion show to undress the models and fart on the people that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Okay, I can understand why you'd want revenge, and I can also kind of understand why you were undressing the models, because, yeah, that was your clothes, so I can understand it, but the people who are in the audience, they did nothing wrong, you assholes! Go ahead! Make my day! <laughs> uh, one moment, please. That wasn't funny or enjoyable. Fuck you for making me watch that, you pieces of shit! But it's time for Dodger and whatever his name is to fight. Damn, Dodger somehow won. I mean, dude, that's really fucking sad that you lost to a 12 year old, but. Dodger, that's really good for you. You won against someone who's way older than you. But now, the revenge is done. As now that it's done, Tangerine tries to say sorry and that she wants to fuck him. I don't think you're pretty anymore. Yeah, on the outside, she's very pretty. But on the inside, she's as ugly as the Garth Pale kids are. But anyway, the kids leave to go to a sequel that Luckily, never happened. Which didn't happen because... Yeah, obviously. Anyway, that was the Garbage Pail Kids movie, and it's crap. Yeah, this movie's just really bad, and it is just ugly, because the movie's just too mean-spirited. I mean, sure, I can enjoy a mean-spirited movie. Hell, I enjoy Problem Dog, but this is too much, with the kids being unlikable little shits. And those effects are absolutely awful. I mean... They look like the cards, sure, but the effects are just too ugly and nasty to be enjoyable, and the movie just isn't funny. They reuse jokes way too often, which is... They are not funny. And then there was no plot for most of the movie. Then halfway through, there were two plots, makes the movie feel bloated, and yeah, I really don't like this movie. And even though I do have some nostalgia for this movie, yeah, I'm not giving Garbage Pail Kids any higher than a 1 out of 5. We're the Pepsi generation! <laughs> okay, good, I'm done. I am not reviewing this movie a third time, okay? But anyway, now that I'm done, I'm gonna go beat him to death. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna force you to do. Oh, no. I'm not doing that. Fuck you. Hey, he's beating me! He's beating me! Help!
thought it was funny. Oh, yeah!